Hello everybody, and we are going to start revising Social Science Unit 3. And we are going to talk about living in society, and we are going to go to the neighborhood. We live with our neighbors, okay? The neighbors are the people who live next to us. So if I live on the second floor, they, and maybe letter four, there are people in four, two, four, three, four, one, okay? And those are my neighbors, the people around me, the people who live around my house. So if people who live next to me are my neighbor, my neighbors, my neighborhood is the area the area around my house, okay? Where I have my school, a park, usually a hospital, and people working in that area. Is that clear? Okay, let's go to the unit. We are going to talk now about families, okay? Remember, families can be different. In some families you have a mom, a dad, brothers and sisters. In other families, you only have a mom or you only have a dad or maybe you live with your grandparents. So families are different. But the most important thing is we all love, love, okay? And help each other. So we have to help each other and love each other. That's very important in a family. How can we help at home? Let's see different ways of helping at home. And we have cook, lay, feed, help, sweep, and clean. Let's go. Look at the picture. The dad, what is the dad? doing the dad is cooking lunch so we say the dad cooks lunch the mom what is she doing she's cleaning the dishes or washing the dishes so she cleans the dishes okay the plates the glasses the grandma is feeding, feeding the baby, feeding the baby, okay? From food, feed, and from feed, feeding. So the grandma feeds the baby. And then the brother, what is the brother doing? The brother is laying the table. So the brother lays the table and the sister sweeps the floor and helps the grandma sweeps the floor and helps the grandma okay this is the grandma is that clear okay so when we talk about families helping each other we are going to listen who is doing everything and we are going to write the number. So this is a listening activity and it's a little bit difficult. Listen and I will tell you the number, okay? Let's go. On Saturdays, I sweep while my brother and dad clean clothes. I sweep while my brother and dad wash. Okay? Number that would be number one. Number two. I help my mum clean the car. I help my mum clean the car. Number two. Listen. On some days I cook with my grandma. On some days, I cook with my grandma. That would be number three. 
I like helping my mum wash the dishes. It's a lot of fun. I like helping my mum wash the dishes. It's a lot of fun. Number four. Five. At the weekend, our grandpa helps us with our homework. Grandpa helps with the homework. Five and Every six. Every day, I help my dad lay the table. Every day, I help my dad lay the table. Let's go to the next part of the unit. We were talking about families and now we are going to talk about neighbors. Some neighbors can be very good and helpful and some neighbors don't follow the rules. Just listen and see what these good, these neighbors here are very good. What are they doing? Listen and write the number. We love our neighborhood, it's so great. We do lots of things every day. Listen. My orchestra friends are different than me, but we all love music at conservatory. Okay, they do more music at the conservatory. They recycle when they finish, when they are done. Oh no, a poor bird has fallen from its nest. We put it back up in the tree to rest. A bear has fallen and they put it back in the tree. Then outside the park we see Mrs. Pete. We help our neighbor cross the street. They, they help their neighbor Cross the street. We love our neighborhood. It's so great. We do lots of things every day. Okay. Some neighbors don't behave very well. For example, if we look at these neighbors, we have neighbors who are really nice, for example, this neighbor and these two neighbors. But look at these girls. Are they following the rules? No, they are not. So it says, look and cross out the neighbors behaving badly. So we cross out the neighbors behaving badly. And here we have these girls. So we cross out the girls because they, they are not being nice. Can you do graffiti? Yes, but you need a, a permit. A permit from the government. Okay, let's listen. Listen to this audio and follow the reading. Listen. Happy neighbors. When we respect the people and places around us, all our neighbors can be happy. Okay, if we respect the people and the places and the rules, neighbors are happy and the neighborhood works well, okay? All the people in the picture are good neighbors. We are going to write what they do to be good neighbors. Look at the photos of good neighbors. There are no bad neighbors here, okay? Only good, good, good. Right. What do they do? They help each other. They respect each other. And they respect neighborhood places. The park, the cinema, the restaurants, everything. They respect places. Let's go to the other activity. Here we are going to, we've got good neighbors and bad neighbors. We have to tick the good neighbors. Okay, so let's go. Is she a good neighbor? 
Yes, yeah, she is. She's giving some food to her neighbor. Yes. Is this a good neighbor? No, because he's throwing rubbish on the floor. Are they good neighbors? Yes, because they are recycling. Is she a good neighbor, this girl? No, because she is like, mm, sorry. She's being naughty with the, the little girl. So she is a bad neighbor. Okay, look at these two people. They cannot watch television or speak or read because the neighbors upstairs, they have the music super loud. So these are bad neighbors. The ones upstairs, okay? The ones here on the other floor. Is she a good neighbor? Yes, because she is picking up the rubbish. So she is a good neighbor. Sorry, this is not what we have to do. We have just to pick the good neighbors, okay? Well, let's go to the other part of the unit. And we are going to talk about some rules, some rules and responsibilities. When we are in our neighborhood and when we are crossing the street, or when we are riding the bike, we have to follow the rules. Remember, this is the road, this is the pavement, and this is the bike lane, okay? So, we have to walk on the pavement. Cars and vehicles have to go on the road. We have to cross following the pedestrian crossing or the zebra crossing and following the traffic light. And the bikes have to go in the bike lane. Okay? Following the bike lane. Listen and write. True or false? One. Look at the traffic light and car. The car can go now. The car can go. Two. Yes. Look at the boy at the pedestrian crossing. He can cross the street now. No, because his Three. this is red. Look at the sign about dogs. The sign about dogs. The boy and his dog are following the rules. Yes, true. Four. Look at the man running. He is running in the correct place. No, he is running in the Five. wrong place. Look at the woman on the bike. The woman is following the rules. Yes, she is riding in the bike lane. So that's true. Okay? So he should be here. The car is fine because you see the green light here. The car is fine. The boy doesn't have to cross the street and the, the dog is lashed, which is very important. The, the, the dogs cannot go on their own when they are at the street. Okay, what does it mean? This means I can walk. This, mean, this means I can ride my bike. And this means I can't skate here, okay? So safety is very important when you are around town. Traffic lights and signs tell you how to be safe. Follow them when you walk or ride your bike. Follow the traffic lights and follow the signs. Let's do another activity about this. Is it safe to cross the street? Yes. Green? No. Red. Okay. Use the code. No. Red. Yes. Green. We are going to begin with red. Is it safe to cross the street here? No. No traffic light. No zebra crossing, nothing. This is safe. This is super dangerous. I told you in the classroom, so be very careful with this. 
If your ball falls on the road, you ask your father, your mother, your grandpa, your granddad, any adult who is with you. Is it safe to cross the road here? Yes, because it's green and there's a pedestrian crossing. Is it safe here? Yes, because he's pushing the button for the traffic light. So yes and yes, okay? And let's go to the last part of the unit. As I told you at the beginning of the unit, when we live in a community, we have some rights, but we also have responsibilities. We are going to match the right with the responsibility. For example, you can go to school, but when you go to school, you need to follow school rules. You can visit the doctor when you are ill, but you have to take care of your body every day. Take care of what you eat, uh, put on your coat if it's very cold. Let's see. You can feel safe, but you have to follow the laws. Okay? So if you have a stop, you have to stop. And everybody else has to follow the laws. You can play, but when you finish playing, you have to look after your things, tidy up, all those things that we have talked in the classroom. Okay? So you have rights and responsibilities. Let's do another activity about this. As I told you in the classroom, if I say I can, it's because it's a right, okay? I can is a right. And the other ones are responsibilities. So I can visit the doctor when I'm ill. I can play with friends. I can go to school and learn. But I can do these things, but I also have to. Take care of my body, follow the school rules, and look after my things, okay? Look after my pencil, don't lose the pencil, don't throw it on the floor, tidy up after class, all those things. Is that clear? Great. And we also said that in our community we have people from different places, so that have different cultures. We have people coming from other countries. So uh, we have people coming from, for example, Marruecos, or people coming from, uh, I don't know, um, other places that are not Spain, okay? And um, Brazil, we have a person from Brazil. So those people are called immigrants, people who come from another country to Spain. Mafe came from the United States. And some people in our community speak different languages. For example, they can speak uh, Portuguese, Arabe, English, okay? Portuguese, Arab, and English. We have people in our classroom and in our community speaking different languages. People live in society together with other people. Families can be very different from each other, but they always help and love each other. To live in a happy neighborhood, we must respect the people and places around us. It is important to follow the rules to stay safe. In a happy community, everyone has rights and responsibilities. And that is the end of Unit 3, Social Science Unit 3, Year 2. Bye-bye.